hi, this is um, Margaret Cho. Hi, I'm um, headed out for a tour of the United Kingdom um, and Europe for a month. And um, I am an avid beauty guru watcher. And I thought that uh, it would be interesting, maybe if you wanted to see what I take out on the road for a solid month. So um, I'm definitely planning to buy things, of course, um, out there. I love uh, boots and I love uh, going to the chemist and getting stuff, <laughs> you know, it just seems different and exciting. Um, but, uh, so I brought the bare minimum of things that I would use for a month, but in case I don't find anything, um, these are the things I would take. Oh, and uh, including one non-beauty item is um, these shoes. You better pray for me because uh, I've already fallen down like on my back, like on like a death drop, like I lip sync for my life, on my back, fell down on my back and um, Yet I still am like, okay, I'm only gonna bring these shoes, only. Well, I have another pair of shoes just for the airport and stuff, but the, these are like the one shoe for a month that I'm gonna wear, because they were fucking expensive, and I mean, I had to, come on. But I also, see, already look how inside I had to, it's so uncomfortable, I had to like totally pad up every inch of the shoe that touches my foot so look see this is the ugly inner side so I I mean I'm basically gonna die so um anyway these are the only shoes I'm bringing but pray for me okay so um I go on the road all the time and I really love it and uh I have kind of my travel bag that I bring everything with like this is um for my makeup I got this on Amazon um I'm not gonna link it down below because it's really basic. Everybody has this. It, when I got it, it stunk. Um, and there was like a Silka Gel Do Not Eat packet in there, um, which I didn't uh, eat, thank God. But um, so anyway, I like this because it has all my brushes, which is, um, they're all dirty, but I mean, it's just me. It's my stupid face. It's like, I'm not, I'm not really, I don't really care about cleaning them. Um, but I have like variety. I really love the Real Techniques. Um, brushes. I think they're really great. Um, this is a brush that I got uh, from the Pat McGrath. I think it was the metamorphosis thing, which caused a huge mess in my apartment with all of that stupid glitter everywhere. But I mean, I could see why uh, they would put that in there. But when I got, um, I did, the, I got the ultraviolet, ultra suede, the brown ones, and I couldn't figure out what was makeup and what was the stupid fucking sequins. And so I threw out the brushes that it came with. So I just threw it out. Like I was like, I kept on digging my hand in and thinking there was more and then there was nothing. And then I was like, oh, there's nothing else. But I didn't reach in far enough to know that there's brushes. I threw brushes away. So um, I really like Pat McGrath, but that, that was bullshit. Um, so here I have a one lip liner. I sort of got myself down to one lip liner because I thought, okay, well this um, is kind of like my lips and it's gonna just have to do for the whole month, that's gonna work. Um, I like this, this is the Anastasia um, Brow Definer. I like it because it's got that triangular like thing, so it goes, you know, I'm not that great at my brows, so I like to have something that um, gives me a head start on shape. That's for the same reason, oh, that's a Pat McGrath. This is the, the shadow stick that came with that um, ultraviolet thing that is black that I'm wearing right now, which I kind of, actually amazingly love. Also a Rimmel, this is the Exaggerate Eyes. I really like this eyeliner too. It's just really like black and, and very greasy, which I think is great. Okay, so yeah, I like um kind of a, a brow definer thing like that. I also have the Wonder Brow. Um, it's the same thing, uh, which is sort of a roll up, you know, kind of sh shaper and it's got that triangular like crayon thing that you can go in. Also, this has a brow wax on the bottom, so you can use that for two things, trying to save a bit of space. Um, so these are two things from Milk Makeup that I really like. Nobody really talks about them. They're tattoo stamps, and one is a star, and one is a heart, and I um, like these because I have one enlarged pore, if you can see. 
So that what I do is I will just stamp it out so nobody sees my enlarged pour. I've, I've really, I've gotten a lot of, you know, procedures to try to fix my pour situation. So I had the same thing here and I scooped it out and then it has never grown back. So I'm like, I'm not gonna fuck with that anymore. I'm just gonna try to cover it up. So that, that's my deeply shameful secret of my, my face. I hate that pour. I hate that pour. I also have another um, tattoo stamp. These, these were like $13 on Sephora. And then I have another tattoo stamp. I think this is of heart too. And this was $1 on Amazon, but it's from China, so I'm probably gonna die. Anyway, okay, so here's my makeup. It's sort of the dry sort of stuff, um, although this is in here, it's not dry. It's that bum bum, this is bullshit. This is too expensive for what it is. I, I don't know why I have that. I just watched too much Tati, and then I got that, so I'm pissed. Um, I have the butter bronzer. This is like the stupidest, bulkiest packaging, but I'm also like not into deep potting it because it's like, I'm so scared because it's just so weird and close to the surface and I will break everything. Um, I have this eyelash curler, which I don't really like. I think this is, I think this is a, just a Revlon one because the eye is so, and it's dirty. The eye, it, my eye is so flat and this is too curved. So hopefully I will ever find another one somewhere. Um, this is Trophy Wife, a very famous sleet eye love this i know it's kind of i think it looks weird on my skin but i think it's so beautiful i mean it's just i'm not even going to swatch it because it's too beautiful you know what it looks like it's so pretty um okay i have this is the peach my cheeks melted powder blush it's um i guess it's a cream or something i just uh i have to use it just like i have like this is my one blush. I have to use it. It's like my one shoes. I have to wear it, so I'm stuck with it. Um, this is like, I do like the Physicians Formula but Butter everything. Um, I kind of like that smell. It's, it, it's so great. So uh, this is their highlighter, which I think is kind of like um, also too dark for me, but I think it's pretty. Um, I have a lot of highlighters in this. This, this is the Milk... Thing. The thing about the milk, these like weird deodorant kind of things, um, it's just weird. So I don't know if I should, so I put it right on my face and now it's got like this weird foundation mark on it. But um, I like it. I think this is really pretty. It's got an iridescent thing. Um, I have a like, this is like the Tarte kind, what is the Smooth Operator Finishing Powder. I have this, um, I think it was like a rewards thing on Rouge. Or rouge also this bare minerals one um it's just kind of a finishing powder for rouge things um this is cool this is the mamon pang pang hair shadow i have um no hair and so this is like kind of what i put on my head to keep the glare down so i have it on it's like a like eyeshadow you could use eyeshadow but i use that i like it i just got it i really like that um here's another butter well i do have two blushes so this is the Butter Blush Vintage Rouge. This is one of the new colors they put out for. Um, I like it. It's bulky and annoying, but I think it's good. Um, just hair ties and shit. Um, oh, okay. This is um, the Semi Sweet Times Nine Eyeshadow. Um, it's kind of basic. I don't know. I wanted something kind of small. Um, I love a brown smoky, which I attempted to do here, but uh, this sort of gives me some options, but it's really small, which is why I like it. I don't know. I think MAC is always good. MAC is always kind of a good, like, standby. It's like the MAC is the one line that we always felt so special when you got MAC makeup in the 90s. And so I remember Janine Garofalo and I got, like, that first, like, eyeliner that was in a pot and it was just like so exciting you know to get like an eyeliner in a pot it was so different um instead of like the maybelline where you would like have to light the end um it was so exciting to have like grown-up lady makeup so i always love mac for that and um i like this this is like a airbrush perfecting powder it's got um 
sunblock, um, your skin but better CC something. I like this. It's, I, it's, I don't know, it's a little bit of added insurance for me. Um, then I have a couple of Z palettes uh, from Itzy, which is a, a line that I really like. Um, so I have a bunch of their, um, it's their blushes, a highlighter from them, and their shadows, which I think are really nice. And then that is a sugar pill. Um, I think it's beautiful. I, I would, I guess, sometimes I want to do like that Peking Opera makeup where you're like sort of, you know, painted like a mask. And I never do it, but I, I think, oh, well, I'll ha have that in case I do that. Um, but I love a palette that I make myself. Here's another palette that I make myself. This is a Makeup Forever blush sample. This is, um, I tried to wrench a Morphe camouflage, camouflage and contour palette. That little, I, I, I obviously did it wrong and it's messed up. And it's stupid because I have it near highlighter so it gets, gets all like corrupted because it's a cream product. But that's the NYX, um, the contour palette, the, the big one. So this is one of the darker shades. I like a dark contour. And then this is like a sample of, I think it's an Urban Decay highlighter, and this is another Itzy highlighter, which I like. Okay, so that's my dry makeup. Oh my God, this is such a long video. I'm so sorry. Okay, I have, to, I have like not streamlined any of this. Okay, so and then I have my wet bag. This is like for, I think I got this on Amazon too. Um, here's some weird skeletal earrings, a dirty, dirty ass beauty blender that's all ripped. I wish I should throw it out, but just, again, it's just my stupid face. I love this CC cream by It Cosmetics, which is great. I love this hourglass vanishing stick, like vanishing foundations, whatever. It's so nice. My color is warm ivory. It's a little bit, um, orange for me, but I still like it. This is my, uh, Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I love this. This is kind of like everything. It's sort of a primer spray and a finishing spray and kind of like a toner of whatever you want to do, which I think is really nice. Um, this might make a proper finishing spray, Miss and Fix. I don't really like that, but I have it small. Um, I have this uh, NARS. If it's close to, I can't read anything without my glasses, but I like it because it's small. I don't really care about it. It's fine whatever um black truffle uh bite beauty lipstick i just have it because i i'm trying to force myself to wear it um this is the lime crime pumpkin this is my favorite lipstick i think this is absolutely beautiful i know that lime crime is controversial i'm not really sure why i don't really know but i like the for formula i know that there's a lot of shit about it but i'm too lazy to look it up Okay, this is Kiss of Fire by Dose of Colors, also one of my favorites, but I never wear it, but I'm forcing myself to wear it on this trip. You know like when you go on a trip and you kind of go, this is the person I'm going to be when I'm on this trip, and then you pack all the stuff like to match your personality that you're going to be on the trip, and then you're so furious because you're, you're on the trip, you realize I'm not that person. That's me. Okay, more Lime Crime. This is Lace Up. I think this is a beautiful. I love like a red-brown, like a Mac Del Rio, like brick um terracotta lip this is so pretty and i i absolutely love that one um oh this is a totally um this is from like my rouge status you know those samples that you get i don't know i don't have a feeling about this it's cleanser i don't i don't really care i love these are the matte inks these are from new from Maybelline. this color i love like an uh, i don't know if know if it's like orchid it is so beautiful and so unexpected on the lips. I think it's just, I think it's beautiful. I like this formula. It's very drying, but it's pretty. Um, I, these melted latex, I, I kind of, of course, I, I think it's, this is a beautiful color. I love like an iris. So beautiful. The, the formula is like goopy, but I like it kind of because it's more moisturizing, especially if you're doing a lot of dry liquid lips. This is just but I love this color, but it is, it's, it's goopy and sticky. Like I was on the plane um, and I had, uh, the only lip sort of product I had like near me was my melted latex in Strange Love. And then it was just like, it was so dry and then sticky. And it just was like this weird, it just gave me like this weird butthole mouth, which I was not a fan of. Okay, this is the YSL 
This is number 13. Oh my God, it's so pretty. But the thing about this is that after you wear it for a while, the color starts to separate. So then you have like the um, unintentional lip liner look, which I, I don't like how it collects, but I think just initially the color is like really, really pretty. Um, this is the Nicki Minaj, Nicki's Nude, Nicki's Nude. I should have my glass. This, I love. I'm actually wearing it. I love it. It's like the lightness of it. It's just, I think it's just beautiful. I think it's beautiful. Um, I have a lot of lip products. And then, and then like, the thing is, and then I pack this away, and then I'm on the plane, and I have nothing on my lips, and my lips are dry. All I have is strange love, and I'm going to die. Okay, this I absolutely love. The Fenty Beauty. This is the Gloss Bomb. It is so beautiful. I I just, I can't, I don't know. I can't describe it exactly because it's sort of a, it's a lot of things. Um, I'm not sure exactly the color. It's, it's just like the color, the, the feeling, the texture. Um, absolutely love. Um, this is an, a mascara, two mascaras. This is just some. A MAC one, which I like, that I don't even know, but I like it. I just like it. Um, and then I like the Lash Paradise. It's good, but it gets dry really fast. Um, then I have dry shampoo, which is okay. I don't know. It's like black. Latisse Essential. Um, half of a brightening mask. There's some left in this. It's, I don't know what. I, don't, I, I can't really tell about Glam Glow, but I'm sure it's fine. Uh, so then I have this Bare Minimals Prime Time, which also, I don't really have an opinion about. These are just samples that you get samples and then you're like, oh, I guess I, I don't know. I'm going to use it up, whatever. Okay. Um, oh, and then this old piece of moleskin, which is so gross because I've used it a bunch of times and I just use, I keep putting it on my foot with lash glue because it's so old. I always need like shit like on my feet because I always have that problem of bringing one shoe and then I am left with bruises and want to die. Okay, this is really long, but um, this is uh, what I take on the road. Um, all right, <laughs> thanks, bye.